What's up YouTube? It's the Boss Ella and I'm here today with a quick little uh, ombre lip, I guess, show and tell. Someone asked how I do my ombre red lipstick, so that's what I'm going to show you today. All right, um, there are some products that I use which consist of my Clarins Hydra, Hydra Essential Moisture Rep Replenishing Lip Balm. I cannot talk today. I also have my Milani number 22 Amore or Amore um, matte lipstick, liquid lipstick, and also number 14 Devotion. And I'm going to be using my Jordana Easy Liner Plush Plum and my Nika K Plum Lip Liner. And then when I want to get really, really deep. This is an eyeliner, but I use it on my lips, and it's in the color Eggplant. It's a really, really deep purple color. I got my Beauty Blender, which has a little leftover foundation on it. And the first thing that I like to do is wipe my lips with my towel, a damp towel. Um, if you haven't exfoliated your lips or anything like that, so I like to get my moisturizer and... Put some on my lip and let that kind of sit in a little bit. This is great for when you're using liquid matte lipsticks. Now I see I have some little crusty areas on my mouth so I just take my towel and I put a little water on there. Try to get them off as much as possible. Cause don't nobody want no crusty lips uh, while you're wearing liquid lipstick. And your girl is kind of dry and dehydrated right now, so mm, don't know how good this is gonna look with the crustaceans going on. But um, yeah, so you wanna make sure your lips don't have any loose skin or whatever and wait till it's moisturized before you try to remove it otherwise you're gonna have bloody lips you can also put sugar honey and olive oil on your lips to exfoliate them which is easier to do than this towel that I'm doing but and I don't have all that I just use my towel and don't be too rough because your lip skin is just as delicate as the the skin on your eyes your eyelid okay all right so we kind of got most of the crust and y'all see my lip is red from from messing with it so you know the blood is pumping through there because my lips is pink. So they let you know you're alive and your lips got blood in them. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so after I do that, I put a little bit more of my moisturizer on. I don't want a whole lot because I don't want my lip to be glossy. I just want it to be moisturized. We just spent three minutes on busting crush off my crust off my lips, but that's okay. This is a real video, and uh, yeah, we keeping it real. Everybody likes everything all chopped and perfect, and this ain't chopped and perfect. This is what it is. Okay, so I'm going to take my plum colored Nika K pencil. And like I said, you have time get that all that crust off your mouth, and I'm gonna line my lips. It's a darker color. And I kind of go under my original lip line. And you know, if you mess up, you can always correct it with your, um, 
with a little small brush and your foundation. So in here, I just like to bring it on out towards the, or from the inner corners of my mouth. Y'all can see I kind of get kind of messy with it, but just fill it in almost to the center, depending on how you want the ombre to look. All right, so that's how I'm going to do that. And I'm going to take the darkest color called Devotion and just start to Put it on the edges of my mouth also. Leave a little hole like that. And I do it like that. And then I take my Milani number 22 Amore, which is a lighter red, or whatever color you want to use in the middle. And yes, it does get on my brush, but I'm cool with that. And if you want to, you can wipe your brush off or your doe foot applicator, you can wipe it off. But I don't like to wipe it off. And then I just blend. You could take a brush to blend if you wanted to, but I didn't. And then when I see the spots that I kind of messed up, I take my, well, sometimes I do this, I take my darker liner and then just kind of like trim out the edges where I've messed up my lip. And this lipstick dries pretty quickly. And that's a sort of kind of ombre look. It's not looking too neat, guys. I'm sorry. Just so messy today. And this is my uh, Nika K Plum Pencil. I'm just going to go back over. the darkness that I did. Okay, y'all, so, um, yeah. Whenever you have like edges, wait, let me fix my wig, y'all. Edges of it and you don't like the way it looks, you can always take a brush, not necessarily this brush, but a brush and your foundation and just go over it. Okay, now I'm looking for my, um, let me see, for my highlight, which is my, oh, I love this stuff, Master Chrome Molten Gold number 100, and when you want for that to really pop, Just go over with a little highlighter.
Mm -hmm. This smokes and goes though. He is the business. Okay. And that's how I do my little red ombre lip. Okay, y'all. So that was easy. You always make sure you moisturize your lips. This is kind of messy, but make sure you moisturize your lips. You have a darker liner than your lipstick, obviously. You have a dark matte lipstick and then a lighter matte lipstick to do the ombre. Now this is not like a super neat ombre, but y'all get the idea. Okay. All right, well, I thank y'all for watching. Thumbs up this video and I'll see y'all in the next video. Talk to you later.